families, it's Mr. DeFlitch, WCPA's Literacy Director, and I'm here to share another book with you today. I'd like to share Love Is by Diane Adams. This book looks to define what love is and what it means. Love can be complex sometimes. We learn to love ourselves, we learn to love others, we learn to love our nature and our environment. But sometimes with love, we think it's about holding on to something so, so tight. But really sometimes what love means is letting something go so we can grow on its own. So let's enjoy Love Is by Diane Adams. And a story about a girl and her little baby duckling. Love is holding something fragile, tiny wings and downy head. Love is noisy midnight feedings, shoebox right beside the bed. Wah, 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 wah. That would be some noisy sleeping. It's peaceful sleeping, no more peeping, tucked in tightly, head to toes. Love is waking up together, side by side and beak to nose. It's early mornings, messy bath times, tidying up and settling down. Love is in familiar voices, feeling lost and being found. It's in the struggles, growing muscles. Look at the little duckling learning to climb the stairs. Ready for a bigger pond. Oh, ducklings growing up, getting bigger. It's sensing when the time is right to lift those wings to travel on. Love is nudging, gently tugging, coaxing baby from the nest. It's getting to the edge and hoping, letting nature do the rest. Oh, she's letting her duckling go join the other ducks. Love is missing, reminiscing, wishing things could stay the same. It's understanding even ducklings, like the seasons, have to change. And love is also watching, waving, wondering if love remembers you, and knowing in a happy instant that love has lasted. Aww, her duck came back to her. And grown some too. At her with the new ducklings. It's important to remember that love can be complex and that sometimes our love must grow and that means it must change. But in the end, love is always there for us if we remember it in our hearts. Remember to scribe below and uh, you'll get a new book every day.